this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to create a realistic water droplet and uh, this works really well with images that you have uh, up close and uh, usually of uh, some uh, some detail. So for example here we have some uh, leaves of a plant and what we can do here is just add some little water droplets to make it seem like it actually rained. So the way that we can simulate that is uh, we uh, bring up our um, background layer here, which is our layers, and uh, we're going to create a new layer and now we're going to go with our uh, elliptical marquee tool and we're going to, holding down the shift key, we're going to create a circular selection and this will be the size of our water droplet. So you don't want to create something too big because uh, that wouldn't look uh, realistic. So you want to make a droplet that is realistic to the size of your photo. So I think this is a really small, nice little size here for a water droplet. And now what we can do is uh, go into our gradient tool here, making sure that we are on the first gradient tool here of the black to white. And um, we are going from left to right here. This is the linear gradient and as well as making that making sure that our colors are default so we want to press D on the um, keyboard to make sure that we are on a default case black to white now we want to go on the um, corner here on the top left corner and drag this down with a shift to the bottom right corner here so that we're creating this gradient here from black to white okay we can deselect now and change the mode of this layer here to overlay and as you can see, we're starting to sort of create this uh, look of the water droplet here. Now we're just going to add some effects to complete that look. So what we need to do is add a drop shadow. And we need to um, set a drop shadow with the settings of uh, a low opacity, something like a 45% here. We want to set the uh, distance here to something around 6 or 7 the, you can see that we're just changing here the distance here. We want something like six or seven. And uh, we also want the size of five here. And we want to change the angle to something around um, 150 or thereabouts so that it's something like so, right? So it's at an opposite angle to the dark area here of the uh, water droplet. So we're creating a little bit of a drop shadow where it's lightest. Okay, now we want to go into the inner shadow, and we also want to set another setting. We're going to leave the opacity at 75%, the distance and the size at 5%, so we're just going to leave these basically as they are. But what we want to do here is uh, change the angle of this, and we're going to change the angle to something around the 28, um, 25 uh, angle here so that we also have sort of like this highlight here this uh, this darker inner shadow again that is matching up with the uh, with the shadow side here of the water droplet so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and now what we can do is on a separate layer we're going to uh, grab our brush here and um, we're going to select um, something of a, of a semi-hard brush here. We're going to select here this one, this 9 brush here. And I actually want to make this a lot smaller. Uh, and what we want to do is just paint it in with white. So having it in with white, we're just going to click once to create that highlight of the water droplet. So there we are. We have a water droplet here. Now I'm going to show you something else that's kind of cool. We're just going to um, select the two layers here and group them together. I'm going to duplicate the layer here and move around this um, this water droplet here. And I'm just going to drop it here, for example. I'm going to go back to our first uh, group here, and I'm going to go into the actual layer here of the water droplet, and I'm going to make this water droplet uh, a little bit more different now, make it seem like more of a water uh, drop um, as opposed to just a perfect circle. And the way we can do this is by going into Filter and Liquify. Filter, Liquify, and now what we can do uh, making sure that we have a brush size that is appropriate so and a brush pressure that isn't too big here so we want something around in the 30s we'll probably do and now what you want to do is just click and drag and just shape that uh, water droplet so just make it you know just play around with it see what works best for you click OK and as you can see here we've modified that water droplet so it seems like it's just dripping away and coming here 
to that part of the circle here. So that is essentially a, a really good way of creating water droplets is uh, just um, start with your perfect circle and then play around with the liquify filter to actually change the water droplets as you see fit, even make them a little bit smaller. We can duplicate them here, move them around here and change with control T and make that water droplet a little bit smaller. So uh, there you are, the water droplets. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.